Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video on how to cut and maintain a short and professional beard. I was known for having a huge beard, which I loved, uh, and I will grow back again one day, but I do want to have a more professional image now. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. As always, I'm going to focus on the mustache, the soul patch, chin, cheeks, sideburns, and neck. All very important components. You have to treat them individually, but think about the big picture at the same time. Uh, I make this video because I make a lot of mistakes when I was growing my beard, so here we go. Um, you're going to want to use a comb. I like to have ones with uh, wider teeth and closer ones, and you're going to need clippers. Um, I used to like to use scissors, but now I've gotten good with the clippers, so I'm using walls. You're going to want to make sure they're oiled so they sound good and they cut well. Uh, and uh, here we go. So you're just going to have to comb your beard down. I do have a mirror over here. Uh, to understand what's happening with your beard. Now I did trim it uh, about a week ago, so I'm not going to do too much, but um, that is the whole point of having a nice and short beard is it's easy to maintain. You don't have to cut it very often, maybe once a week, every 10 days. Um, so I'm going to start with my mustache. And what I'm going to do is just follow the contour of my lip. I'm going to comb it down. I'm not going to force it and cut it, I'm just going to comb it down and cut it naturally. And I'm going to go right down to the edge. Now this side. Don't forget the middle. I'm noticing my whiskers are coming in a little bit too much, so I'm going to comb it down, comb it down. Take it off very easily. Now I'm doing such a small trim and all of, all of your trims or cuts should be small because you don't want to take too much off that I'm actually listening to the haircut. I'm listening to the hair's cut. I'm also going to take down my mustache. So if you look at it from this profile, it's a little bit thick. So what I'm going to do is drop my razor so that the uh, it's not on the smallest setting. And I'm just going to ever so slightly graze it. You can hear it. Okay, I think we're all done with the mustache. Now, the most important part for the rest of the cut is to make sure that your beard comes out the same to the same width as your temple. So if you take your temple and you imagine it going straight down, you want your beard to, to, to be parallel to your temple. So you don't want it to be so thin that your head looks like a triangle now and you don't want it to be so thick that it looks like a pear. You want it to be pretty uniform, if not a little bit thicker. I think that's really my favorite look, is a bit of a fuller beard. Now, don't be discouraged if this doesn't work on your first growth. Um, you want to give this a few months because you want your baby hairs to catch up to your more mature hairs. So this beard is pretty mature. It's, it's a couple of years old now. So it does look pretty thick um, from most angles. So what you want to do is contour the beard starting from top to bottom and you want to do this very slowly and listen to the haircut. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So when I get to my chin and my neck, I'm actually starting from the top of the beard. And when I start from the top, I don't want to dig into it and I don't want to cut it too short. I see a lot of guys shaving their beard right here on the cheeks. You want it to be as high as your natural beard line goes. You don't want to be putting the razor to your face at all, I think. So I'm going to show you what it means to contour your beard from top to bottom um, and, and not just jabbing at it with 
uh, straight at your neck because it's not going to look uniform. So this is what I need. I'm really exaggerating that curve around my beard. So going down and curve. I'm watching the hairs and I'm listening to the hairs. Now it doesn't look like I'm doing much, but you can see I have hair on my chest from falling. And that's how you get a nice, proper, slow trim that makes your beard look full. It's also too important when you trim your beard that you look at it straight on so that you know how it's going to look um, in reality. So I'm looking at it straight on and I know how I want it to look. I want it to look square, but I also want it to look natural. I don't want to just go straight in and start cutting. I don't want to go straight at my neck because this part's going to be thick and this part's going to be thin. You want it to be uniform. You want to go, the pattern you want to create with your clippers is the combing pattern that combing pattern. And then we'll get these sideburns. We'll just do this, comb it out a little bit and very naturally. Go up. And the last part is the sole patch. I like to make sure my hair starts to grow from the, the edges of my lip all the way to the center, being a little bit long in the sole patch. You, you don't wanna shave everything off and leave this. You want everything to be nice and full around your mouth, but also clean. Also important for your hair to go right down to where your, your chin meets your neck. And that's gonna give you a nice full effect when your head is down. And this is pretty much the complete product. You can see I have just a little bit of hair on my chest. We're gonna clean that away and you don't wanna be taking too much away. So that's how you do a nice, short, professional beard trim. Let me know what else you guys wanna see and we'll see you in the next video.